Kilograms and Grams, Part 1, Grade 4. Hello, my dear students. It's me, your teacher. Did you enjoy the lesson on liters and milliliters? Now you know how to measure liquids, how to convert milliliters into liters and liters into milliliters, don't you? Children, let's revise what you learned from last lesson. I will give you three minutes. Take out your personal whiteboards and solve these sums. If you like, you can stop this video and watch the last lesson again and come back. Write in milliliters. First one, five liters. Second one, six liters. Third one, nine liters. Write in liters. First one, 2000 milliliters. Second one, 3000 milliliters. Third one, 1000 milliliters. Fourth one, 8000 milliliters. Okay, children. Very good. I think you have done the sums correctly. Dear children, today we are going to learn a new lesson. Today's lesson is kilograms and grams. Okay, let's start. Can you tell me your weight? It can be 45 kilograms, 50 kilograms, or oh, 30 kilograms. Can you tell me how much of sugar you bought from the boutique last week? It may be 250 grams, 500 grams, or oh, 750 grams. What do you mean by the weight? Weight means how heavy something is. It shows the heaviness of an object. How can we measure the weights? We can measure the weights using kilograms and grams. We use the symbol kg for kilograms and G for grams. Large quantities of weights are measured in kilograms. Examples A packet of sugar. It can be 1 kilogram or 2 kilograms. A bag of rice. It can be 5 kilograms or 10 kilograms. Weight of a student. It can be 30 kilograms or 35 kilograms. Small quantities of weights are measured in grams. Examples Weight of a mobile phone It can be 140 grams or 170 grams. A packet of biscuits It can be 100 grams or 200 grams. A packet of washing powder. It can be 500 
grams. Let us identify the different metallic weights that are used to measure the weights of something. 5 grams, 10 grams, 20 grams, 50 grams, 100 grams, 200 grams, 500 grams, 1 kilogram, 2 kilograms and 5 kilograms. Can you see this picture? What is it? Yes, it is a common balance or a scale. Why do we use a scale? It is used to find the weight of an object. Vendors use this scale or common balance to measure the weights of the required quantity to sell. Vendor keeps a metallic weight on one side and the selling item on the other side to measure the weight and balance both sides equally. In the first example, the weight of the packet of biscuit is 100 grams or with the symbol we can write it as 100 G. In the second example, the weight of the packet of biscuits is 250 grams or with the symbol we can write it as 250 G. Now it's time to do an activity. You will see some pictures in the next slide. Each scale contains some weights. You have to find out the quantity of the weight contained in each scale and write the quantity with the symbol in your personal whiteboard. First question. The weight of the packet of biscuit is 100 grams. Second question, the weight of the packet of biscuit is 250 grams. Third question, the weight of chocolate is 80 grams. Fourth question, the weight of the soap is 120 grams. Okay children, now you can pause this video and write down the answers within 2 minutes. Children, did you write the answers in your personal whiteboard? Let's check your answers now. First answer should be 100 grams. With the symbol, you can write it as 100 G. Second answer should be 250 grams. With the symbol, you can write it as 250 G. Third answer should be 80 grams. With the symbol, you can write it as 80G. 
fourth ounce should be 120 grams. With the symbol, you can write it as 120 G. Now it's your turn to look at each scale given in the next slide and find the weight of the item alone. To remind you what we did, there is an example for you. Example, the weight of the packet of biscuit is 100 grams. With the symbol, we can write it as 100 G. Now you can look at each scale and tell the weight of the items. In the first question, you can see a packet of tea. In the second question, you can see a packet of cardamom. In the third question, you can see a packet of flour. In the fourth question, you can see a packet of dal. Okay, children, now you can pause this video and find the answers. Children, did you find the answers? Okay, let's check your answers now. First answer should be 150 grams. Second answer should be 120 grams. Third answer should be 600 grams. Fourth answer should be 350 grams. Now you know how to measure the small weights. Let's see a bigger weight. Look at the following picture. It has metallic weights of 2 kilograms and 500 grams. So the total weight of this item is 2 kilograms and 500 grams. Now it's your turn. Look at the scales and tell the total weight of each item. In the first question, you can see a packet of dry fish. In the second question, you can see a packet of chickpeas. In the third question, you can see some potatoes. Children, again, you can pause the video and find the answers for the questions. Okay, children, did you find the answers? Let's check. First answer should be 1 kilogram and 150 grams. Second answer should be 1 kilogram and 250 grams. Third answer should be 2 kilograms and 750 grams grams. Now I am going to ask some questions. Look at the following scales and give me the answers for the questions. First one. Name the item which is the heaviest. And 
What is the weight of feet? Second one. How much heavier is the packet of chickpeas than the packet of dry fish? Third one. Which item is the lowest in weight? And what is the weight of it? Answers First one Heaviest item is potatoes. The weight of potatoes is 2 kilograms and 750 grams. Second one. To find the difference between the weights of chickpeas and dry fish, we have to write some statements like this. Weight of chickpeas equal 1 kilograms and 250 grams. Weight of dry fish equals 1 kilogram and 150 grams. Difference between the weights. We have to deduct the weight of dry fish from the weight of chickpeas. Then the answer is 100 grams. Third one, dry fish has the lowest weight of 1 kilogram and 150 grams. Well, my dear students, today we learned how to measure the quantities of weights. I think it's enough for today. I hope you have learned something from my lesson. You can download the relevant student note from the Vidura College official website and complete all the exercises now. We will meet soon with the next part of this lesson. Until then, be safe and please keep on studying. Thank you. Have a nice day.